So you want to connect your Google Sites with your domain that you purchase it with GoDaddy. So there's two things you want to do. First of all, let's open two tabs. In one tab, you want to sign into our GoDaddy account and you want to go here into our dashboard and make sure that we go directly into our domains. In this case, here is my actual domain that I have purchased it. I go into my profile, I go into my products, I can see my domain and I go here into managed. So I just leave this like that. I open a new tab and now what I wanted to do is to go into sites dot google dot com and here is an amazing place to create websites totally for free so what i want to do is to choose the actual gmail account that i use to sign into my godaddy this should make things much more easier so i'm gonna get into got it i'm gonna go into blank website and now as you can see here is my page title i'm gonna try to choose title only for example i delete this and here is my actual first uh, website. So let's say, for example, that this is my website. I'm going to go and type Tech Express. And I want to have my domain connected with this website that I have just created. So first of all, let's focus into published. Now, as you can see, we have a web address in here. So if I go into custom domain, I'm going to go into managed. And here, let's go into start your setup. So as you can see, it says enter your domain. So with that information, let's go back into your actual godaddy.com. And as you can see, this is the actual domain that I wanted to connect. So let's go into copy this one. I'm going to go back. I paste it and the domain is not verified. So verified your ownership. So this is the reason why I want to click into verify the ownership. And here, what you want to do is to choose domain, continue, and checking the verification. So we have the instructions for what you wanted to do is to choose the option that says GoDaddy. Really, really easy process. I'm gonna hit into start the verification. So lastly, what I wanted to do is to make sure that this one actually sent this directly into GoDaddy. So let's go here into connect from the GoDaddy to authorize Google to enable this service. So I'm gonna hit into connect. This one should be really easy. Just Google is going to make sure that we are the actual legit owner of this actual domain. So verifying this might be taking a minute. This is why it's really important to have Google Sites connected with your Gmail account. And in this case, since we use my Gmail account to create this account from GoDaddy and the domain should be much more faster the process to verification property type. So the ownership has now been verified. So we're going to hit into done. Now, usually there's a lot of people that say that this one actually does not work. And you try to reload the page and it still says this domain is not verified. Please verify your ownership. Now, sometimes this happens because you have more than one Google account. So if you're going to go to property, you want to make sure that here inside the Google search console, you are using exactly the same Google account that you have here into your sites.google.com. So if I type once again the domain, I now have access to the taxpress.ltd. So I'm gonna hit into next, connect to the third party domain register. So here, what I want to do is to leave this like that. I'm gonna go here into my domain and here what you want to do is to focus into DNS. Now here into DNS, it actually usually is more than easy just to go into add new record. If I go back here into Google Sites, you might see that says exactly the same thing as I just told you guys. Go to the DNS settings, create a name, see name entry. So let's do that. Let's go here into name, choose option, and let's go for C name. Now here into name, usually under C name value or alias enter triple W. So let's do that. And lastly, into the destination, enter these actual address. So you're gonna copy and paste the actual value. Remember to include the period after the dot com. We have to save the changes, come back to the step and click done. Let's do that. I'm gonna hit into save. Wait a few seconds there. And now that this record has now been added in here, as you can see, here it is. I'm gonna go back. I wanted to go into this step and hit into done. Now the domain is not been assigned inside the actual Google. 
So as you can see, the domain is now being created automatically. So you're gonna hit into the X mark. Let's go into publish to your web. And just to make sure, I wanted to add a new web section. In this case, let's go for Tech Express LTD. You didn't have to worry because we need to just allow up to 48 hours to also be available at techexpress.ltd. So by default, we needed to have an actual default site, which is actually this one. But after the 48 hours, we're not going to be having access to techexpress.ltd. So don't get frustrated. If you think that if you typed into your URL and it doesn't appear, this is something that usually might be taking once again up to 48 hours to appear into your Google Sites. But the process it is actually the same and easy. So with that being said, we have now reached the very end of the video. But don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more great tools of how we can get started with Google Sites and GoDaddy as well. Thank you so much, guys. See you next time.